Hello everyone, this is a short video where I explain how I DIY power cables for my Eurorack modules. All of my modular cases are quite shallow. The big case is only 15 cm deep and I have a bus board with a lot of power connectors, so I don't really need long power cables at all. Therefore, the cable length is around 18 cm or 7 inch. For demo purposes or just module testing, I have a small skiff case with flying bus leads and 18 cm cable length is, is enough for that as well. Okay, so what do you need for making a 16 to 10 pin Eurorack power cable then? First of all, you will of course need a piece of 10 lead ribbon cable. It should have the desired length plus 2 cm, so in my case we end up with around 20 cm. You will also need a 16 pin female IDC connector of the crimp type and you will need a 10 pin of the same type as well. Both should have strain relief brackets. Finally you will need a small bench vise. I had mine for almost 25 years so it's a little bit worn out. Alright, let's get started. First you need to locate a red stripe on the flat cable. We need to align that with PID1 on the IDC header connector. The connector has a small triangle mark to identify where pin 1 is. I always place the cable so it extends at the side where the triangle is. That way I can keep all my cables looking the same. Make sure that you let around half a millimeter of the end of the cable protrude on the other side of the IDC connector. If the cable doesn't go all the way through, you may have a weak connection, both electrically and mechanically. After that I fold the cable over the top of the connector and snap the strain relief into place. The next connector is done in the same way as the previous one. Make sure that the cable is aligned properly, especially if you attach a 10 lead flat cable to a 16 pin IDC connector. For modules that require 5V DC, the exact same method is used, with the exception of course that 16 lead ribbon cables must be used and two 16 pin IDC connectors. Many module manufacturers place the power connector on the modules with the pin 1 downwards, so the red stripe should be facing down. Ok, so this is the finished product. I normally do these in batches of 10 pieces, so I have a small stock ready when I have finished a new module. And with that I want to say thank you for watching, and I see you soon again.